Hi, it's Pai. I'm here from Niche Advice. Again, let's talk about uh, mortgage questions. Uh, this one's under one of my videos. Uh, let's just see which video it's under. I think it's under... I think why I think interest rates would rise. Um, it, this question is from Sanchez Hall. Hi, what do you think about decline on a basis of financial association? Good question. Good, good question. And I've said, thank you. I will try to do a video on this. So here it goes. Right, I've done a number of videos on declined mortgages. Why people get declined. There are various reasons. Some of the obvious reasons, like you've got bad credit or you've got credit issues or you haven't got affordability, and some more mysterious and uh, reasons that lenders often do not actually tell you. You know, they'll go, you've just been declined, we don't want to deal with you. So I've tried to delve in that and I've done videos on this. So please put declined mortgages or whatever it is on, on YouTube and you'll find it. But specifically on this point, Decline by association. I'll tell you what happens around that. Sometimes you get, well, this is the most obvious, right? This is the telltale sign. I get a married person apply in single name. As soon as you get that, the first question is, why isn't your wife going on there? Now, sometimes it's genuine valid reasons, okay? So um, it could be my wife's a foreign national and I know some of the lenders will not accept it. Well, quite a lot of lenders do accept it. So don't just assume that. Put your details in. Put what you want, and then we can make things happen. Uh, but you know, sometimes generally, oh, uh, the 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 property is actually mine. It's come from my side of the family. I put all my money in there. So you know, we've decided that she's going to remain not on the on the property. So there are reasons. But the most common reason why, in my experience, why they don't go on this because they've had credit problems. So. Why isn't your wife going and gone under? Why is your husband gone? Oh, because um, they've got adverse credit. Ah, that's the reason. Okay, so often what happens with lenders is if you're buying a property and you're married, or if you're buying a property anyway, they will ask a question is, name the people that are over the age of 17 that will reside in that property. Now, some lenders will take it as far as running a credit check on that individual, right? So if it shows... That you're married, your wife's not going on a mortgage, however, your wife's an ex-bankrupt, or she's got heavy CCJs, they could go, well, the only reason she's not going on there is because of mortgage. Whatever reason you've given, oh no, it's because of part of the family, they go, no. So, by association. Now, how does that happen sometimes? If your husband and wife, if you have got no financial association with yourselves, so you don't have a joint account, you don't have a joint credit card, you don't have a you know, finance in your name, you don't have a mortgage in your name, then it's quite clear cut. Well, you don't have an association financially. But if you've got a number of accounts together, and all of a sudden you're saying, I wanna keep away from the mortgage, the lenders will start thinking, well, there's a reason and we don't like it. Or let's just say you've got a joint account with this person and this account, this person has defaulted recently on all their stuff or has got CCJs. You could be, you know, you could be tarnished basically by association. Happens a lot with parents, funny enough, children and parents. Um, so uh, there are some lenders that are quite lenient around that, but there are a lot more lenders that are more stringent around their, um, their rules around buying together and what is deemed to be a, a, a financial associate and the level of uh, scrutiny they will go into. Um, so it's always worth discussing this with an independent mortgage broker, disclosing everything that needs to be done. If your wife has been bankrupt, if your husband's had gone into an IVA, you better say so. If there's a debt management behind the scenes, <clears throat> if there's a default out there, give it because you can get done for non-disclosure you can waste everybody's time and you know it, it will be helpful and often you know if you if it's not disclosed a lot of this stuff goes through the lending underwriting maybe it gets picked up later down the line by the time you spent your money for valuations and all sorts of things and legals has taken and all of a sudden the case gets pulled so um it's vital you disclose that to your broker or the lender themselves. You disclose information if there is to do with anything, if there's a reason. You know, the first question should be my wife or, or disclosure is my wife or husband is not going on the application because of this. Okay, so disclose things. Um, hopefully you found this useful and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker 
as a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.